Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. Today we're in Saint Moritz. It's minus seven degrees, and we're at the Concourse de Elegance, the ice event, where people bring the most incredible cars and actually take them out on the ice. Come and join us for some fun. When I said there were some special cars here, what I didn't point out was that there is the most expensive car in the world. The Ferrari 250 GTO, one of these sold in 2018 for $70 million. And the owner, I'm not sure if he's here, but is allowing someone to take it out on the ice. Andrea, who's from Monaco, but he's Italian by birth. Yep. And you brought along? 250 GT Lusso. 250 GT Lusso. I don't know much about old Ferraris. Tell us a little bit about the car. It's from 1964. It's a very rare, beautiful car. It's, the color is Nocciola Metallizzato, and it's red interior. In English? Nocciola Metallizzato? <laughs> Not possible. <laughs> Brown. It's brown. Uh, metallic brown. Metallic brown. Never this is the original color. No, it's not the original ah, color. What's the we, original we, color. We painted the car. The original color is ruby red. Ah, okay. What made you go for this brown? Ah, just personal taste. You wanted it to match your jacket, yeah. yes? Okay, how long have you owned the car? About 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, me and my father have been having it for 10 years, yeah. I was going to say you were like 15, 10 years ago. <laughs> okay, well, can we look inside the car? Absolutely. Let's have a look. Oh, so have you had it restored? Yeah, completely restored, inside and out. Welcome CC, this is your car. This is my car. It's the original paintwork. It's the original What's it paint. called in Italian? It's Viola Metallizzato, and that is the reason for its name. So the car's name is Viola because it is Viola Metallizzato. And so they made, I believe, 36 or 37 of these, and so between 246 GTs and GTSs in Viola Metallizzato. And you've been driving it on the ice today. How was that? I've been driving it. It was fantastic. Fantastic. Really, she was really awesome. good fun. <laughs> and you two are married? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> For all intents and purposes, we might as well be. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. And have you been getting quiet nights here in San Moritz? Have I been getting quiet nights? Quiet nights. nights. Definitely. Yes. yes! Definitely. Very quiet yes. nights. Yeah. Completely quiet nights, yes. Because this is, you know, this is And this the is the original show. colour. This is the original colour. It's so fantastic the, the car, condition the car for is original colour. It's got an interesting thing about its spec, right? Because Dino's came with an option called chairs and flares. And what that meant is that you got the Daytona leather. So you see this leather that is uh, beige and black. That comes with, looks like the seating of Daytona. Yep. And 
normally that would come paired with flared arches, with the flared arches. and then campagnolo yeah. wheels. They're very rare, and the they're flared very, arches. Yes, and so this one is, is a chairs no flares, is right. what I like to say, because that's Chromadora, right? No flares, but it's got the chairs. I don't like the flares, I, I think it looks classier no, like no, this. No, I like it like yeah, this Yeah, well. I, I agree, so, and I love Daytona seats. But it is the original spec, so, you know, that's So fantastic. tell people, it's not a Ferrari, it's called a Dino. It's a Dino, this is a Dino, this was the, the brainchild, well the engine in this. Is, was the brainchild of Enzo Ferrari's son, uh, Alfredino, tragically died uh, muscular dystrophy at 24 years old. And it was his idea to say to his father, look, we should build this, uh, okay, his idea, but the truth is that the engine was developed by Vittorio Young, who was then working at Ferrari. And that engine was in the Formula 2 cars of the early, mid-1960s, right? right? And then from there, from those Formula 2 cars, made it into the Formula 1 cars, and then eventually they made it into this road car. Now, Enzo, he had a thing about not having engines, rear or rear mid-engine cars, because he would say that the car, the, the, the horse needs to pull the car, at the, t at the time, the car can't yeah. pull the horse. So he always wanted front-engine cars. But he signed so, off on the F40. But yes, much later, yeah. right? But at yeah. this point in time, we're talking late 60s. He liked front-engine cars. He, he was going, I'm not sure about this. And Dino is, you know, because because he'd been involved with the development of this engine, which is yeah. a, it's a, this is quite warm, it's a 65 degree, you know, V6 originally, and then this is on the flat transfer. Um, you know, it was, it was his, it was his son's thing. So they named the car. So Dino. you know all about it your cars some, and you yeah. can drive the cars. So, well, pretty much, but she can drive them as well. She's doing a rather good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try it, yeah. <laughs> well, lovely to meet you guys here. This is not something you see every day, a Maserati MC12. This has the engine from the Ferrari Enzo and it looks absolutely spectacular. One of my favorite cars here today, actually. Now, don't forget, if you're looking to buy a new or used car and you live in the UK and it's 30,000 pounds or more, go on to the Magnitude Finance Calculator, see what your monthly road payments are and give them a call. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this Cars on Ice in Saint Moritz and we look forward to bringing you loads more interesting content in the near future.